All right, in order to do the Ken Burns effect in Adobe Premiere, what you need to do is make sure you have the image that you want to do for the Ken Burns effect in your project area. Then you can see I have two uh, intros here. Uh, the first one's introing me to the video. The second one is introing me to the section of the video, which is Photoshop. Now what I can do is then go ahead and just drag in the image into the timeline. Now you can see here the image is not as big as our frame size. So what we need to do is click on that clip and then what you can see is up in our effect controls panel it actually brings up the video effects panel for uh, our picture here. So what we need to do is adjust our motion properties. So if I expand that you can see we have a position, we have a scale, we have a rotation. But really the only ones that we're going to work with right now are the position and the scale. So if I click and drag the scale number up, you can see it'll drag my image up the way I want it. Now uh, basically what I want to do is I want to show this image on the left first. So I am going to move the uh, position to the right and you can see the two values here. One is X, one is Y. So I'm going to use that X value then to drag uh, my image to the right here and then I am going to, uh, whoops, you can see it lags a little bit here, so I'm actually going to bring that back some. And then I'm going to start with it about right here, and I'm going to scale it up a little bit more. And now what I'm going to do, whenever this comes on, you can see here, here's my check out my Photoshop work. And then whenever this comes on, I want the word before to be right here. Then what I'm going to do is animate the picture then for the picture on the right to go. And it's going to be over here. And then I'm going to have the word after on this side. So we need another title. So I'm going to go up to title and then new title. If this is going to be the default still. And then this will be before and then click on OK and then you can see here it actually brings up the title as uh, where the time indicator is in the project then I'm going to click right here and then just put in uh, the text for before And then I'm just going to, well, I want to make sure that is vertically centered. I don't want it horizontally centered because it's, my image is on the right side and then I have my text on the left side. So let's go ahead. I'm going to close that here. And then what we need to do is drag this and this before will only be at for the first part of this image. So you can see here, I drug it into the video two area. All right, now what I want uh, to do is, I'm going to end up putting a transition onto this clip here. But in the middle of the clip, I want the before to go away, which it does after about five, uh, I think, let me actually play this in real time. I actually want that to go a little bit longer. I'm going to do about three seconds for that um, video. So there's the before. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my image out I'm going to drag my image out so it stays on for longer. 
Now what I'm going to do is then click back on this clip and then from this point we have to keyframe the position to move from here over to here and we want to see the other picture. So what I'm going to do is click on this little uh, stopwatch here and you can see it keyframes it. So then we can say by the time our clip gets to about right here, we want it to go across the frame. So you can see I'm just clicking and dragging that X dimension to the left. And you can see I'm not even dragging anymore. There's a little bit of a lag to it. Um, so I'm gonna click and drag to the left here. And I'm going to just keep dragging it until I can only see the picture on the right on the left side of our frame. So I will go to about right here. So I can see a little bit of the skin tone on the one on the left on the before image. And then I'm going to now at this point make an after title. But before I do that, let's actually um, preview this here. I'm going to just drag it before that. I'm going to press enter. And then you can see it goes to the left. And now this is where the after will pop up. So let me, I'm going to drag this to right about here, right where it stops. And then I'm going to make a new title. And then this will be default still. And the name of this will be after. And then we'll click on OK. And then I want to keep that same style of text. And then put the text over here. And this is going to be after. And then I'm just going to click on my move tool. I want to vertically center this, but then I'm going to click and drag this to the right. If I hold in shift, it'll drag it straight to the right there. And then I'm going to click on the close button here. Now it doesn't automatically put that in where we want it. I now, I now have to actually click and drag this to my video two option. And then I'm going to cut this back to about right here. So now before we do any transitions, let's preview this to make sure we have what we want. Here's our before, then it animates over. Here's the after. Now it'll look a lot better whoop, if we put transitions in. So each clip, we have one, two, three clips. Uh, the title clips, they, this one comes on and then off here. So we want to transition at the beginning of it and at the end of it. Same with the after title and then also on our clip. So what I'm going to do right now is transition those. So I'm going to go right to the start where I can see this frame and then I personally like to keep my transitions very um, similar with each other just so um, it doesn't look random. So I'm going to take that additive dissolve and put it on the before. So whenever this comes on you can see the before fades on and then I'm going to do another additive dissolve here. And then it can fade off. I'm just going to see what that looks like. Actually, that's a little quick here. What I'm going to do is drag out my clip. So the, the actual before is on a little bit longer. And now I want to transition my after. 
which I can, I'm gonna go bring my time indicator down and I'm going to drag this out and this out so we have a little bit more time. And then I'm going to do the transitions one more time. And like I said, I need a, another transition for the actual picture. So let's just do that same one again. And if I put it between the two clips here, as you can see, it'll fade. Actually, that's not gonna work because it fades the other one on. You can see it's giving us this little half title thing here. I'm gonna delete that out. And then, I'm going to put one on the end of this here and I'll put one on the beginning of, uh, it's not letting me do that. I'm going to delete that off. Uh, let's actually do a different one. I'm going to do a page peel. Let's do a center. All right, that'll work. I'm gonna use this page peel. So if you can see here, it'll peel into then this image. The before fades on, it fades off, picture moves, and then the after fades on, and then fades off. And then we're ready for our next clip.